Hey Caesar, how you doing? I appreciate that you're still here and haven't despawned yet. And I appreciate you for watching my new episode. Hey everyone, this is Dallas. This is not going to plan. Duh. How much did we get? All of that. I'd say we did all right. But we're not working down there today. Today's gonna be one of them episodes where I just do what I want. And I love these type of episodes. And no, that doesn't mean I don't know what I wanna do. I just have a lot of different things I wanna do. I'm gonna smelt all of this first. Ah, what a lovely day in Minecraft. You know what? I want to go over here. Where you say here. Where at? Over here. The logging camp. This is pathetic. No, it's not. It's alright. <laughs> it's just, it could be way, way better. And with the amount of wood I have now, that is exactly what I'm going to improve upon. First of all, I want a big crane here. How on earth am I moving these logs? With my big burly arms? Possibly. But... We need to be more realistic here. I want to make a beefy crane, not just any normal crane. A beefy crane. Yeah, you dropped this. Um, so you can see I am putting the crane right here. I made a giant gear cog with a counterweight on the other side. This is going to go out diagonally. And as you can see, I also got rid of this log pile because I'm going to remake it and make it look like it is being currently stacked up by this crane. I might move this one too. I might just rework the logs all together. Because I want this place to be massive. I want all of this to have this texture. I gotta just plant a lot of these trees. It'll give me a lot of wood. How are we looking? Yeah, alright. So this is going to... I'm probably gonna connect it like that and have fences in the middle. I'm gonna have a chain running back there. I got another cog up there. Ooh, yes. See, I love the different wood textures I use. I'm mainly using dark oak mixed with spruce logs, spruce planks, and oak logs. And then I'm using deep slate to contrast it a bit. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's it just turned out perfectly. Oh, I love that. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this in the beginning, but I need to leave a lot of stumps around here to make it look like I actually cut all of these trees down. I started placing them, but then I didn't like it without podzel under it, so I'm going back and growing trees here. What's that sound? Hello. But yeah, I'm really getting back into building at this place. Okay, so I've been working over here for the past two hours. Not a lot looks different, I will say that. I don't know what I showed you last, um, but the crane is finished. We got a new bigger pile of oak logs here. Um, so what I've mainly been doing is going around planting a bunch of of mega taiga trees. I mean, this is all the spruce wood I have now. <laughs> and I've mainly been doing that to get podzel everywhere. I don't want to go out and gather podzel and place it. I got a new pile of logs right here, and I've also been starting to make stumps everywhere. And I'm also building these stumps around the bottom of the live trees too. I think this is a cool effect. Um, I'm still kind of building them up everywhere. As you can see, you got stumps around here. It still looks a bit splotchy. I need to fill in these gaps of grass, but I'm starting to put a bunch of stumps over here as well. It's getting there, slowly but surely. But it looks like I did anything. I've been adding in some tough to make it look tougher. Just add some stone piles around. I want to go add some stone buttons too. I'm going to make some more of these piles in different areas too. I might even make another crane. Because this is still nowhere where I want it to be. This place needs to be way bigger. But before we do that, we need to take care of something. What's that? Arrow of slowness. Why would I ever need that? Well, I'm sorry about this little plant wherever I put you. Where did I put you in plants? Yeah. So apparently this is a really, really rare item. And I assumed that actually, because I've never seen this in this game. And the reason being is, is you can't obtain this in the natural world. The only place you can find this is in a village chest and it's a rare spawn. That said, this belongs in the museum on one of the rare walls. This is the rare wall. The only rare wall. There you go. 
We just recently put these two up here. We just recently got that and completed it. And you know what? There's actually something else I forgot to grab somewhere. So, I'm out walking. You know, well look, mountains. I saw something over here in the corner of my eye. I was flying just a second ago. Have I been here? Have I been here? Whoa, what is it? Spider spotter? Yeah, I feel like I have. Dang it. It's pretty crazy though. Look at that. It's in a hole. Oh, there we go. Give me in here. Nice. Whoa. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Is this a freaking copper vein? I don't have time for this. Oh, no, it's not. They just come in big veins sometimes, but this isn't that ultra mega vein. You come. Is it? It's starting to look like it. No, no, it's because we're in a dripstone cave. These spawn in big veins. I have no idea if you could hear that, but I literally just got shivers down my spine. I heard a minecart rolling down very far, like it would not stop. It has to be just a single minecart sitting somewhere that a mob hit, right? Right? Whoa. Was it this one? Oh, it had to have been. Yeah. Yes, it was. Okay, well, this trip to a very specific place changed directions pretty quick. Look at all this copper I already have. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so distracted. Ooh, name tag. Yup. Yup, this mansion. Oh, look, here's, here's Ollie's death point. Rest in peace. Is. Hello? Did I leave anyone alive here? I'm taking those. I left a very specific something here. I'm taking these two. Oh man, I left a lot of these here. This. I came back for this. <laughs> a leather cap with efficiency one. An impossible item, yet it's in the game. And I think there were two others in this place. I might as well grab them. Oh, here we go. All right, three efficiency one caps. <laughs> Guess I'm going back home now. Ooh, oh, where's my flint and steel? Why is there only nine in there? I need 10. Way to go, emergency box, you screwed me over. I have an idea. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Yeah, <laughs> I remembered, there's the mansion. Right down here, I remember finding a portal. How about we just rebuild this portal? Oh, I really don't trust this game, but here we go. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, hello. Oh, this is one of those ones with gold laid all through it. Ah! Oh my God. How can you track me that far? Losers? Get a life. Oh, there's more. Yay. Go away. Oh, come on. You know what? I really don't like this. What's that enchant? Multi-shot. It's hard to shoot. Okay, well, I shot two of them there, so that's handy. <laughs> a bunch of dummies. Oh, there's the bridge. Oh. What do we got? Hurry up. Oh my god, that's a lot of diamond stuff. Oh, another one. Ooh. Oh. Give me the loot. Oh, nice. Whoa. And just like that, we have another rare item. But should that go in here? Yeah, I feel like it should, but I don't know where I should put the other two. I'll just name it Efficiency Cap. There we go. As we find more rare items in this game, I will take down lesser rare items, such as that. That's not rare. That's not really rare either. Either Scoot. The whole idea of this wall is just to find out myself what the rarest items are in this game. You can just tell by this hallway right here that my I think my building skills have improved. <laughs> I mean, look at this. The ceiling and the 
walls. I used green terracotta and then I put glowstone in and just a wood floor. <laughs> What's this room? I always say that when I see this door. I know what it is every time. I need to use this more often. This is my zombie villager transformation room. Whoa, I have stuff down here. I don't even remember, you know what's weird? I don't even remember making that. What, just how old this build is. Anyway, I'm down here. I was making some potions. I need to, I bet this is pretty full now. Oh wait. No, it's not full. That's the whole point of this system. So there's three chests, and once this chest is full, it'll fill the second chest, and this light will turn on. And then once a third chest starts getting filled up, that light will turn on. See, I just never fill it up. That's why <laughs> those never get turned on. I do have a lot of potions in there, though, and then I, I I just feel like, you know what? I might do a rehaul of this place. I would say rehaul, redesign, um, because it's just, it's old school. I'm not going to change the outside, but I feel like the inside needs to be spiffied up. I don't really like this. So since I am making it look like I am tearing down mainly mega tiger trees, I'm probably gonna make a few more piles of that somewhere. I was also thinking I should put this on a track system right here where it can slide from at least over there to over here. So it looks like it can, you know, move. That might not be a bad idea. Also, we got this research area that no longer really works because of the new generated stuff down below oh no it is still open that's crazy that that state did it stay open oh no there's bedrock down there is there i can't is it just not loading i can't tell if there's bedrock down there or not is that actually still open that would be insane it is still open what are the chances of that oh it's because my world it's all open at the bottom you know what I could also do is connect it with our biome here. As you can see as well, I've been tearing down this house. It just looked too pristine to be here for the goals I was going for. I might even take down these copper bits. Might even just take it down altogether. Because I'm still deciding what I want this dang biome to be. But I could put some of these trees over here and just connect it. Anyway, that's enough blabbering from me. I do that a lot. So, time to blabber some more. Today's comment question comes from Nezo. That sounds familiar. I feel like I've answered from you before. What are you expecting the 1.20 update to be? And what would you like to see in it? Also love your videos. So I saw this picture on Twitter. Um, it could... People... Everything's faked nowadays it seems like. But it seemed pretty legit in some way. But there's rumors that the next update is going to be Caves and Cliffs Part three that meaning they're going to add all the features that have been announced but weren't added in this part two of the caves and cliffs such as archaeology among a lot of other things i even saw something about like worms or something but i feel like this is the direction they're going to go in because they announced archaeology like it was a big deal and then they just cut it i feel like since they've announced it and talked about it a lot in the past they're still just going to work on it and add it later down the road and I think now is later down the road so I got a feeling that is what's going to be next and something about like ancient cities but on the surface and deserts that are sunken in with artifacts in them I feel like that will have a lot to do with the archaeology side of what they're adding and what would I like to be added I feel like that would be it I feel like do you know how cool this would be for our museum and just the experience in Minecraft in general, having archaeology, I'd make me want to explore and when I find a city, set up a huge site around it and just take everything out that I can. I feel like that would have been such a cool addition. So I'm hoping they go that route. Oh yeah, and I learned you give these guys an, a large amethyst or something like that and they just multiply, which is really cool to know. I'm going to create an army of those dudes. I'm going to get to donations next episode. There are a few of you that donated generously, um, but we'll get to that next episode. And thank you to everyone for watching today's episode. I appreciate you stopping by and watching till the end. If you watched all the way till the end. If you're here right now, type Nezo, who got the comment question of the day, to confuse him. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye.